oh, obviously everyone presumes that you're going to be out there, you know, being hands on, probably, you know, elbow deep in scrubbing toilets or, you know, showering people. My friends do know that I work in aged care. Not a lot of them understand that there is so much room for IT within the aged care and disability industry. I'm a product owner in our IT department, which means I look after our enterprise resource planning system. So that's our human resource, payroll, finance, recruitment system. Essentially, it runs, you know, runs the business pretty much. Georgie is an absolutely incredible person, both professionally and personally. She is always looking for solutions to problems. She brings an open mind to the discussion. You probably term it as managerial courage to be able to call out something that you don't think is right. That's what Georgie does. It's always like a, a good discussion or debate about what the problem is and how we're best going to overcome it. Naturally, I don't think anyone leaves university and goes, I'm going into aged care. I did a degree in tourism. I was working at the Sydney Opera House and then moved over to London for a while, worked in publishing, moved back home to Byron Bay to live with mum for a while while I was broke. Then I got a bit of a casual job at Ferros Care. It was purely meant to be what supplemented me while I was at uni. However, the little aged care company that I was working with started getting bigger. And then I finished my degree and we were actually needing departments. Would you like to be the IT department? So I was like, sure, I'll do that for a little while. And then as the company grew, they put me through an IT degree. It's been 10 plus years and I'm still there and I absolutely love it. I think it's fascinating because people want to stay in their own homes and there's just so much biotechnology we can do to achieve that. She works a lot with removing paper-based processes within the business and automating them. I'd love single point of data entry so that no one in the company is ever rekeying data. So we brought in our own development team and actually started building software the way we wanted it to work. And that software is now it's still in play today. And it's just so satisfying being able to implement real and effective change and actually having the power to do that. To me, that's what innovation is, is seeing a problem, you're finding it and you're fixing it. And that's me in my personal life as well. I've settled back here in Byron uh, with my family, so my husband Damien and my two kids, Margot who is two and Theo who is four. They're in daycare three days a week, I work part-time. Kind of was hitting my late 30s and thought, well, no, we definitely do want to have kids. I was able to take some long service leave by this stage. Credit to the company, that I work for. Um, upon returning from maternity leave, they've been extremely flexible. I work remotely a lot of the time. I don't ever feel disconnected either. I probably actually physically see my colleagues in the flesh two to three times a year, but I'm on Microsoft Teams all day long, my little webcam on, and we have great banter. Even though she's working remotely, it feels like she is present there. I love part-time working, part-time parenting. It's a wonderful balance for me. We love camping, we've got a good off-road camper trailer, so we love just exploring. Before I had kids, I thought I was busy. And then once I had kids, I realised now it's 24 seven. So I love being able to go for a surf, especially early in the morning, so many dolphins around all the time. Sometimes it's just about sitting out there, it's just so peaceful. That's really some of the only time I truly get for me, just to be alone. And that's, that's really important to me. Empathy with the end user, I think, tends to be something that is better represented by females, perhaps. A big part of my role is constantly translating, managing expectations. Georgie is the intermediary between the customer and the actual programming side of it. She sits with them for days and goes through their job and watches what they do and puts the process into steps that I can easily program and understand that, that helps them in the long run. We've won multiple awards. I remember, especially in the early days, doing many award ceremonies, always around mobility and being on the leading edge within the industry for implementing new technologies. You can't hire experience within the business. You, know, you can't hire business knowledge. You know, that comes from being here for 15 years. Yeah, it's good to have someone who knows where it came from. I almost can't think of any other area where there is so much career growth. I've seen multiple 
Other people come up behind me since, women, exactly the same path that I have. And I'm proud to work alongside them. Inspiring comes to mind with Georgie. She's so committed to providing value and outcomes to the company, also whilst being a mother. <laughs> I'm hoping that, you know, I can, I guess, follow in her footsteps as well. I'd love to see the future of aged care where the industry is innovating its own technologies. The aged care industry is massive. There's a whole lot of departments that are behind um, there now. IT is just one of them. There's a massive need for more people, more talent in this industry. It's extremely fulfilling. I've never felt the need to move on because it's almost, you know, every year or two, it's like working in a different company and it's constantly changing and growing. I love making positive change. The possibilities are just unlimited.